I'm big on electrochemistry, but that's just me. All right. But shivers of the procession. Let yeah. the city speak to us. Uh-huh. Yeah. And we speak back to the city. Street people. Absolutely. That looks good. Absolutely streetwise. The Furies are at home in their mirrors. It is their address, even in the clearest water, if deep enough, can drown. than a single grain of malt. You don't have to do anything anymore. Ah, oh, that's so good. That's so good. Ever. Never, ever. Never, ever, ever, or simply keep on non-existing? Forever, ever. Ever, ever? Never, ever, ever, baby. And an audience amount of time passes. It is only void of struggle. No ex-wives are contained within it. <laughs> <laughs> this is great. Give me some more. What was that about the ex-something? An awareness creeps up on you. A mass lies hidden in your dead angle, soaking in some lurid acidic sauce, its bloated and shameful a ball of meat surrounding you. This is a terrible line of questioning, and it will only lead to more awareness of the meat thing. Do we plunge back into the fathomless deep? Yeah. The never ever? Yes, I'm curious about it. Unless you want to know more about the X something. There. No ball of meat. No light in the formless nothing. Just night swimming. <laughs> I do like nothing. I know you do, baby. I know. How about you cough up some of that sweet oblivion? Coming right up, sir. Smooth passage. Anna Z, let's go. I want to get off now. I like pain and burning light and wanting things from people who don't want to give them to me. Anna Z! Alright, nothing town to fuck all borough. <laughs> Return trip to the silence, please. Let's visit the ancient Zero home. Or look, there's I am tired of being this type of animal, and who gives a shit? Not you. Your days of giving a shit and being that type of animal were over. Don't stop. Keep singing. Sing me the song of death. Or wait, no. I need to belittle myself instead. No, it's, it's too comfortable. Yeah. It's too comfortable. <laughs> I do. Let me off. You wouldn't like it if I told you what was back there. Why'd you think you had to bludgeon yourself into oblivion? Or did you not sense yourself marinating? Poured so much on yourself. Got a bit carried away, did we, Chef? Even the voices are more annoying than that, that reptilian brain. The reptilian brain is smooth to listen to, man. In fear and apprehension, you should ask what's out there first. Wait, did I did this to myself? Tell me, what's waiting for me? I don't care, I'm an idiot. A brave idiot. What's waiting for me? There's this giant ball there. An evil ape. And the evil apes are juking it out on the ball. You're one of them. It's basically all just evil apes juking it out 
on a giant ball. How big is the ball? How small is it? You can't even make out it's a ball when you're joking it out. It's that large. How, How small, small are the apes? apes? Infinitesimally small. And this duke it out? I keep hearing about What's that? Find the resources. It's just a stupid expression you picked up somewhere. The part of the presentation you want to take home with you is this. You have to beat the other evil apes in the face. Or you lose. Return to monkey. Return to monkey. Embrace monkey. <laughs> Embrace monkey. <sighs> Sounds like something I would like to do. Let's go. That's sad. Yes, it is. And you drowned in that sadness a long time ago. What do you mean, drowned? You lost. The sound outside. You recognize it. It's a Caprice Canada motor carriage. Open your eyes and see. <laughs> oh my god. It's my kind of party. Whoa. And this is Disco Elysium. Welcome. <laughs> Whoa. Disco ass blazer. <laughs> Your this tie. fan has two chain pull switches. One ends in a tiny fan, the other in a light bulb. A truly horrific necktie has somehow attached itself to one of the blades. Savoir Fair Medium 10. Grab the tie. Or you can pull on the fan or the light bulb or leave. Or you can leave, yeah. Um, so just so that I remember, I think... It's been a second. Okay, yeah, that menu I'm going to need to hold tap to highlight. Ah, there we go. Yes, I got the keyboard with me. We're doing this PC, folks. We are big PC right now, and I'm just going to go cut straight to the chase with the mouse and keyboard. Let's so. go. Uh, we got our intro. Right, so we've been... Oh, it kept my old save. Would you look at that? Okay. Well, uh, we are going to need to... Just overwrite all of that. Um, and uh, we'll start here. We'll just... Yeah. Confirm the disco. Two fucking years ago, man. Look at that. Look at that self-portrait, dude. What are we? This is our health. This is our morale. That you're smart enough to appreciate your portrait. This is our your character sheet. Conceptualization skills. <laughs> this is our bag. Oh, you can, you can have a lot of things on you. You can. And then these two are unavailable. All right. We got a tie spinning on the, on the fan. <laughs> Looks a little risky. Bottles in the bathtub. Wine, beer, and sweet liqueurs. Do you wash? Good question. No, I lied. Stupid question. <laughs> How are your powers of perception? <laughs> White satin shirt. It's clean. Wasting water. Like we're not paying for it. Hangs above a bent and broken sink. In a first discharge of masculine energy, someone has ripped half the faucet off. Do we dare? Was this not the same Elo that founds empires and lays waste to cities? Virile, uncaring towards the little things? Damn. Probably not. No. Oh, that's so cool. They're talking to each other. Yo! This is your brain. 
Hot water sprays from the faucet's base, and steam covers the mirror. You cannot see yourself, just the vague impression of a man. Suddenly, you realize you have no memory of the face that awaits you there, underneath the soft vapor. Really? Nothing? Wipe the mirror? Or no, I'm not doing this. Back off. What do we do? Uh, wa wipe it. You want to know? Yes. I want to see myself. You want the truth? I need the As truth. As you slowly reach your hand towards the surface of the mirror. Abort. You clearly have not thought this through. You won't like what you see there. And you will never unbecome it. <laughs> Bully, what is a man? Yo. <laughs> Do you want to know? Inland Empire has immediately stepped in. Success, easy roll, low requirement. Don't do this. You don't want to see it. Yo, I leave this. I leave this interaction to you. What is the complexity of a man, Wooly? Maybe I should touch it. Touch it first. Make sure there's nothing wrong with my face. Or, better not to know. Leave. Leave. Just leave. <laughs> Just leave. The back down. Does it matter? Oh, the back down. <laughs> Does it really matter? Terrifying. Terrifying. The mirror's still there. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Not ready for this. Alright, what do we got? Is that, is that a shoe? <laughs> That's a shoe. We're getting there. The foot. Magnum sized bottle of Commodore Red. Empty. Pantalones. Time for pants already. Flare cut trousers. Look at that cut, dude. Look at that. That is wide. The window stands broken in its frame. Cold wind blows in. Visual calculus. Assess the damage. 92% chance of nailing this. This is a white check. You may retry it. Double one always loses. 12 always wins. The shards face outward. Whatever broke this window came from the inside. Roll the dice. Straight up, dude. Tabletop. It shows you. Did I bring it with my own hands? A fine web of scarring covers the back of your right hand, but none of it is recent. What did this then? More likely a projectile than a held object. There are no fragments on the floor from pulling a tool back in after impact. Assess the size of the impact? It is too large for a bullet, yet too small for a piece of furniture. You're looking for something heavy and larger than your fist. The single green shoe you found fits the hole almost as well as your foot. It would have also been heavy enough if thrown with force. Mm -hmm. Congratulations. You smashed the window with your own shoe. Now you only have one. If you're lucky, you could still find the other one on the balcony outside. The door to it should be outside your room. Maybe it wasn't me? I should go and get that shoe or I don't need it. I don't need anyone statement <laughs> I should probably go get that shit a cool wind gushes in your toes curl up from the cold you hear a jingle keys are clinking in the pocket of your flare cut pants fish them out perception it says whirling in rags on the aluminium key ring there is a single key on the ring the number one is etched on it. It should open the door. Aluminium? Damn, that's how we saying it? Yeah, going with the... Thanks, Perception. International. <sighs> okay, so there was an interactable over here as well. Whoa. Or not. Man, he is uh, not doing good.
Man, some pretty bad hangovers. It's been a while since I had a rough one like that. Yeah. Looks like someone tore out the tape while the song was playing. This reel to reel tape player is still on. I'm rolling empty. Alright. Ty. You motherfucker. This fan has two chain pull switches. One ends in a tiny fan, the other in a light bulb. A truly horrific necktie has somehow attached itself to one of the blades. Um, Savoir faire. 28%. That's not high. I would, uh, if you pull on the fan, will it spin faster or stop? Well, that's the question. We yeah. don't know what will happen with what. I guess we'll have to figure you it out. You can pull on the fan or you can pull on the light bulb. Or you can roll that 28%. Your call. I would pull on the fan, but if you want to grab the tie and see what happens. Man. Maybe his body's too frail to reach <laughs> up. <laughs> so you want to pull on the fan? That's what I would have done. Yeah. The blades come squeaking to a halt. It should be easier to reach the tie now. All right. 72% chance. Odds are going up. All right. You want to grab it? Sounds good. You swoop up and catch the tie. Ooh. Snap. It's released from the blade. What you have in your hand is a truly hideous thick tie with four or five different patterns. The knot reminds you of a noose. Damn. Whoa. Are we done here? Want to pull on the light bulb just to see? A terrible mistake. Turn the lights off immediately. <laughs> you can practically feel the photons burning a hole in your brain. All right, turn it off. The lights are off. <laughs> <laughs> horrible, horrible mistake. <laughs> Don't That's do it. Nasty headache. Oh, boy. All right. So we're dressed. We've got our keys. We got a shoe. <laughs> and we've got this fucking noose of a tie. <sighs> we're getting there. Yep. Survey says, find your other shoe. Monday, 8.13. I'm missing another green skin shoe. All right. We've got a door over here. But before we do that, we've got one more date with the bathroom mirror. Now, should we try to protect ourselves in the future and not turn on the lights when we're hungover? A mirror hangs on the wall, covered in steam. You cannot see yourself, just the outlines of a man. You have no memory of the face that awaits you there, underneath the soft vapor. Really, all recollection of the person you are, the people in your life, and even the world you're in, has drowned in a sea of blood alcohol. This was no mere night of drinking. It was a deluge of world-ending proportions. Do you understand what we are yet? <laughs> like, you, do you, like, like, those stats that they're telling you are creating a vision of some super cool fucking guy with his theme music playing. And we are this. I believe it. The lowest of lows. I believe it. You know, you I have to it. understand. Do we run away? As you slowly reach your hand towards the surface of the mirror. Abort. You clearly have not thought this through. You won't like what you see there. And you will never unbecome it. All in. Behold. <laughs> Portrait updated. There we are. Ah, look at that mug. You have no idea who this thing is, do you? Dear Lord, help me. What is this? <laughs> of course I do. It's some kind of uh, superstar. I think I'm a superstar. This is the face of a late stage alcoholic. <laughs> Too late. You clearly have rigor mortis on your face. Oh, wait. Is that an expression? Are you trying to make an expression with that face? Why? I'm not making it. The face is making itself. I have no idea why it's there. It just is. Please stop. It's horrible. 
You're scaring yourself. Keep making the face. Okay. No. You can't, can you? It's like it's not even voluntary anymore. You have worn that grin into your face, and now it won't come off. What does it even mean? Ooh. What is the emotion you're trying to convey? Super startup. God, I don't know. It's indescribable. I think it's supposed to look suggestive. I'm afraid it's meant for the ladies. <laughs> I'm insinuating that I'm vaguely sympathetic. I think I'm sort of pulling it off, too, in a sad has-been kind of way. There is some charm to it. It's an expression of pain. Mm-hmm. I'd go with five. Correct. Encyclopedia. Formidable. Dig yeah. deep into your mind to locate the source of the expression. Electrochemistry. Impossible. 18. Attempt to stop the expression from happening. Very low. Roll those dice. Or roll those dice. Or let it be. I don't think we're equipped for either one of these bets. Mm -hmm. But we could nail this if we landed it, if we got lucky. Do you like your odds? No. <laughs> I don't. I'm curious. Yeah? I feel like looking. You want to roll? Let's roll. You click. This one right here? Top. Like the rest of you, and just like that, comes from a bad place somewhere in the past. That's all you know for now. Whoa, your finger has been tainted, cursed. The Reggie click dirtied is, is now the fucking the click of the dirtied. Bane. <laughs> I'll do the Bane clicks then. <sighs> Let the mirror be for now. Not ready to go that deep into ourselves right now. Oh, or... For now, deep you say. Enough. For now. For now. Yeah. Hey, Reggie, would you describe this game as relatable? <laughs> <laughs> In any way, shape, or form? Uh, I mean, listen, there's things... There's times when you can look at a situation and go like... I see this situation happening over here. Mm -hmm. And by situation, I mean person. And then you kind of look at your own life and you go, all right, I guess I do have my shit together at least a little bit. <laughs> First steps out the door. Let's save it. Uh, so these are the auto saves. They're going to do their thing. Um, but we're going to rotate. And there we go. All right. What's going on here? Calendar says it's March. The year is 51. Hello, officer. The young woman raises a cigarette to her lips. Classia? Miss Orange Disco Dancer. A silver jumpsuit falls off her like scale armor, sparkling. This is the sparkle of too many nights out on the city. Officer? Am I military personal? Turn your bloated face away from her beauty and just keep on walking. Uh, no. She, she seems perplexed by your question. Wait, I know. I'm a businessman. Chief executive officer, right? Then why'd you call me an officer? Because you're a police officer, sir. She pulls on her cigarette. Are you sure? You're shitting me. God damn right I'm a policeman. Don't you forget it. <laughs> I'm, uh. a, I'm a cop. I'm not. Unless you've been shitting us all this time. She takes another drag. All this you've time? I've been here for three days. On official police business, no less. And what business is that? I couldn't say. In truth, so far, mostly drinking. You have no doubt about the drinking, <laughs> but do you strike yourself as a tight-lipped drunk? She must have heard something. I might not know where I am, or who I am, or what a coupri kinema is. How I know what one sounds, or how I know what one sounds like. Why don't I remember being a cop or anything else? Who in their right mind would let me be an officer of the law? Suggestion challenging 12. Try the expression on her. <laughs> Let her know you want her physically. 17%? That is 
crazy high mm. for <laughs> <laughs> I like these odds. Those are wild odds. 17? That is so much higher than I thought. It cannot be retried. Oh my god. You shoot your shot, you got one chance. It's above 1 out of 10. That's crazy. That's crazy. One out of six? Yo. Crazy how high that is. I should get going. <sighs> When their right mind would let me be an officer of the law. Yeah, that's a good Don't one. Don't be so harsh on yourself. They let almost anyone be a police officer. That is true. Two week formation and you're good. Uh, I might not know where I am or who I am or what. Oh, that's the same stuff. You could pick another. Why choice. don't I remember being a cop or anything else? Could it be because of the drinking? She raises an eyebrow. The cigarette sizzles. <laughs> Number one. She notes. But uh, I do know when someone's not telling me the whole story. What am I doing here? What's my case? That's it. There's a mercenary out back. He's been hanged. The body has been there for a week now. The locals probably got tired of it and called the cops. And why didn't you just tell me that? I didn't mean to overwhelm you with information. You seem a bit... lost, officer. How about we just get going, Woolly? <laughs> Alright, listen, we're gonna need- this is where we're gonna need to stop and have a little conversation. <laughs> <laughs> because, lis listen, quite frankly, we can play the game, or we can just do everything that everything is- you can just go for the buffet. Are we going for the buffet Kay. on every single turn that we are being given a chance? Are we eating or are we picking and choosing so that we don't fill ourselves on the bad stuff? Are we playing the game or are they playing the game? Are we? What are we doing? You understand? Buffet? Because I'm like, you want to know, there's always curiosity. But. <laughs> okay, let's eat. Buffet? We're eating. We're eating the whole playthrough. <laughs> filling the play We're out. We're filling the play. Filling the plate. We're bulking. Uh, you do the click. I ain't clicking on it. Oh my god. That ain't my click. <laughs> that ain't my click. All right, here we go. <laughs> the words have already left your mouth. <gasps> oh! <laughs> oh no. Not like that, bro. Oh, it's so bad. Oh no! my god. This is. <laughs> 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 I am not hungry anymore. <laughs> <laughs> Is that regret? Oh my god. Is that regret? It's not cooked. <laughs> that chicken is raw. Uh, I Salmonella? <laughs> e. coli? <laughs> oh my god. I want to have fuck with you. <laughs> what was that? That's not even how words are used. What did he say? Come on. Say it again. I know what I said. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the double down? Yo. The double down? I said. I want to have sex. You see, that's not what you said. You said. <laughs> but she's unable to finish, consumed with laughter. No regrets. Come on, man. Pretty, please. One more time. I said I want to have fuck with you. <laughs> Goddamn right you did. You crazy asshole, you. What kind of cup are you? She wipes the tears from her eyes. I'm a cop of the apocalypse. Superstar cop, and I can no longer deny it. I'm sorry, I don't know why I said that. You're pretty... I'm sorry. I'm the sorry cop. I'm not sure I'm a cop at all. I'm sure I don't remember being one. I think I might have lied. <sighs> So clearly, these are the words of a boss, right? <laughs> right? If that's your tone. That's how superstars talk. Or copocalypse. <laughs> One or the other. It's the end, Reggie. We mm. might as well write it might out. Might as well. Has the time come already? She raises an eyebrow. Yeah. 
We're mere minutes away from the total collapse of reality. Cops walking around with no memory of who they are, saying what I just said, the end can't be more than two days away. No, we still have some centuries to go. <laughs> or we could just, we could just, yeah, no, lean into it. Mm -hmm. Mere minutes. I should go and prepare then. Thank you. This has been delightful. I hope it does all come crashing down. Otherwise... She extinguishes her cigarette. It's gonna suck for you later when you have to interrogate me. Ooh. Oh. And for the record, no, I didn't do it. Apocalypse cop. Ew, ew. Well, that went out pretty good. <laughs> <laughs> She left a nice long stub in the ashtray. It's still smoking. <laughs> Didn't say or do anything we regret at all. In the end, I'm glad we tried. Buffet, he says. <laughs> Carry on with that experience. We're not dieting up in here. Dragon de Shin. <laughs> The quality you would expect. <laughs> the quality you would expect. <laughs> the door is closed. Um, do we try again? We leave it alone. We leave it alone. Okay. Okay. What's going on? Let's give her some time. Other doors. Vredefort 15 centigrade. Dull. Something on the table. Stiff pen Kedra, nine degrees centigrade and a front. Money gained, we got 40 real. Yeah. Real. Hard cash. See a container you can't open? Try a pry bar. Ooh, that's bright. This is the balcony. Hey, look at that. Two shoes. Damn. And just like that, our mind will be healed. <laughs> right? This will fix all of our problems, all right? All problems. A gust of briny wind washes over you. Yeah. We've got a pair. Two identical shoes, both copiously green and indiscriminately snakeskin, reunited on your feet. No Feels gators. Good. Like two baby crocodiles. Ah, of course they're gators. There we go. Wait, these do not look like normal cop shoes. How do they fit? Good. They're balanced. Comfy. Feels like the only good thing about you right now, truth be told. There we go. Gotta start somewhere. I like the fit. I like the cut. I like the way the way they feel when I strut, strut. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so the smell of the sea makes you dizzy. Oh yeah. Can sleep after twenty-one sleeping heels. After 21, sleeping heals all your health and morale. That was that was the time. It's yes. eight. It's eight thirty. Yeah, beginning of the day. Mm -hmm. I wonder if people are like, what's 21 hours? I don't, I'm not in the military. Oh yeah, I was going to say, because that's, that's also French time, but yeah, everyone knows military time yeah. as well. The door is closed. There is no answer. You hear the shower being turned on somewhere inside. Perception. A tremendous loneliness comes out. <laughs> oh my God. Everybody in the world is doing something without you. I'm so alone. Why are you doing this? Don't do this to me. Beauty, don't abandon me in all this ugliness. Swallow the emotion. Swallow sadness like a boss. The door <laughs> is closed. Don't let it set in. <laughs> Talk to corporate. 
<laughs> Shit on Deborah's desk. This is the weekend edition of the satirical newspaper, Trompe Le Monde. Nothing on the front page rings a bell. Strange. Fool the world! Red checks can be tried only once. Failed white checks can be retried by increasing the relevant skill. So there, there is you hope. Go. Some some of them are some of them are hopeless. <laughs> some of them you have to hold and let them burn in, sizzle in on that chest. But some of them you can come back and try again. Big old karaoke mic, just waiting for someone to sing into it. This is where the lyrics would be. Mm. Sad karaoke. Speakers connected to the radio, the music is seasoned with static. You should totally sing karaoke here, the first chance you get. Your emotions need to be expressed. People need to know your vast oceanic soul. How's the soul? My soul is immense. So it's modest. It's normal size. My soul is puny. So it's cubic content is obscured by the hangover. I agree with that. Definitely four. Of course. At this point, precise measurements of your soul can only be performed from the outside. It needs to be heard through a PA system by other people. But what I sing when it comes to it. You have not yet stumbled on the right lamentation, but it's out there. It'll come to you. You will wreak havoc with it. Don't worry. Lamentation sounds good. They'll really get a gauge on my soul with that. I was thinking I could maybe sing something happy. Get the people going! <laughs> nah. Let's go Radiohead, number one. Serves them right. <sighs> Wipe that smirk off their face with your really? sad, tragic song. We're going Tom York on Who's this? Laughing now? No one. I lost myself. <laughs> I don't mind going Muse. <laughs> to find something tragic to sing first, though. Hmm. Find something tragic to sing. I mean, it does hurt because you do it to yourself. We do know this. Yeah, that's true. But ultimately, it's because we like it. So, it's all good. Monday. So. Oh, the tasks. worst day of the week. Yeah. Sing karaoke. Our task. You need to find a sufficiently tragic tape to play on the boombox to memorize the lyrics. Uh, then ask the cafeteria manager to perform, preferably in the evening. More people at the bar then. Get a hold of a sad song on tape. Yeah. woman's hand wrote yesterday's menu today starts in the man's handwriting observation yeah maybe we would have been able to differentiate that so water cooler a large bubble is rising to the surface don't you love being smart being able to process all these the emotions <laughs> unless you can't drown them out <laughs> oh. expecting a stuffed seabird as you approach he gives you a sideways glance then looks down again that God. disdain in his eyes. Even now he's purposely ignoring you. Something tells me you don't like me. Yeah, talk to him. Look at the stuffed bird. Are you, Are the, you bird? the bartender? What's the problem? Oh no, you're a hero. A real hero cop. I don't like the tone of that. Did the massive property damage upstairs have anything to do with this? So, not only am I a cop, but I'm also a hero? You're being sarcastic. Am I? Or did you ride in, take the body down, solve the murder, and not trash my hostel room? Oh my god, I did all those things? I'm guessing I didn't do any of those things. I do not appreciate your tone. This is no way to talk to an officer. You're right, you didn't. And it's only taken you three days not to. What have I been doing all that time? Have you seen me around? No, I haven't seen you around. I'm not always here. He looks down again and keeps plucking at the bird. A competent work of taxidermy. The white and brown seabird lies among piles of coasters and drying mugs. One of its wings broken. 
The man is trying to mend it. Looks like the bird was ripped off the shield that was used to mount it, most likely on a wall. This is the great skewer. The seabird is the symbol for the discovery of the Insulindian Isola, the part of the world you are in right now. <laughs> Something about it makes you feel bitter. What happened to the bird? Can I help you with that? That's not, that's a great skewer, right? Nothing. Look, your buddy is over there. He looks at the doors where a man in a bomber jacket is tapping his foot on the floor. Why don't you go and talk to him, okay? What do you mean, my buddy? I'm a cop and I talk to whoever, whoever I please. He pretends not to hear you, concentrating on the bird instead. Something tell- oh wait, are you the bartender? No, I'm not the bartender. I'm the cafeteria manager. What's the difference? You look like a bartender. Understood. I have three cafeterias to manage. Three. Sylvie tends the bar here, not me. I'm only standing in. Where did this Sylvie go? Understood. She just, you know. He shrugs. His eyes dart from left to right. This man isn't lying. But he is hiding something. She just what? Okay, then. So now you're a cop. Oh, forget it. Let's leave. Mm-hmm. 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 Mm -hmm. Sylvia. Maybe we'll see her around. Cafeteria is. Yep. No highlights on the. There we go. I was sitting caps lock. Hello, sweetie. Hello. Lena, the cryptozoologist's wife. You shouldn't keep your colleague waiting. She nods towards the man in the orange bumper jacket. But enough of that shit. Here comes Kim. A sign reads, Mess Hall reserved for union members. Doors open, 16 o'clock. And what is that thing? This royal pinball machine is unplugged. Okay. A bespectacled man in an orange bomber jacket is tapping his foot on the floor. Looks like he's waiting for someone. You 